Hey guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for World Reader Issue 4. And before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic You Know episode 200 in the description below. Uh, you could check out that episode, and the exclusive comics for that show will be in the description below also. But let's start talking about World Reader Issue 2 by Aftershock Comics, which uh, has been a company that's been really surprising me, and I've been enjoying a lot of their series. So, Let's jump into it and talk about World Reader. Um, love this cover. The colors for this book is so good. Uh, and that continues within the book. Um, just these colors that really pop out at you. Um, you got nice greens, purples, uh, reds, just a nice colors um, for this. And it really fits the art style. Um, and this kind of alien space story that's going on. And kind of psychological story too. Uh, so I like I like that aspect of the artwork. But let's see what's going on, going on with the story. So with this issue, we follow Sarah and her friend who trust her and her abilities. Uh, really the only person that trusts her abilities as they go to a planet and Sarah kind of lets go completely. She always kind of stops her, herself halfway through her powers and not trust her powers completely. So here we get to see her talking to almost all the aliens that have passed away. And then she sees this other alien who actually could give her answers. So she finds out a little bit more information about how the planet died and this god that they trusted and wanted to kind of impress and... and the god gave them light, so they all were fighting for the light. So you get a little bit more information of what these worlds are all about and why they have died. And then we have a cliffhanger. Um, well, first of all, at least it looks like Sarah and her friend will be going back to her crew. Um, but they found life somewhere, so are they alone? That's that's the cliffhanger of the issue. And I really enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, I love the artwork for this book, but I love Sarah's voice throughout the, the whole issue of her completely letting go, but then this interesting um, kind of uh, religious undertone with the God story, which is really interesting. Um, just love the dialogue there, and uh, really keeping my attention of this mystery, which is important, but also just building your characters and making them more interesting at the same time. So I thought this was a really well done issue world reader. Overall, I've been really enjoying this series. Um, I love the concept. I think it's very original. And this was my pick of the week. So go definitely check out world reader if you haven't been reading it. I gave this issue four and a half stars. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, scripture below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.